All right, so let's dial in the StopTech calipers, the StopTech Trophy, which I think it's just anodized aluminum, I'm not sure. But let's get some product on it. So I'm gonna wipe it off here real quickly. So I'm wiping it off with some IPA. And I went and watched just to get some clarity on what what I should do with the second coat. I went and watched Todd's video, Todd Cooperwriter's video on Esoteric, which is, by the way, where you can get this stuff. I'll probably have it soon. My concern is that I don't know that I don't know that Kamikaze is going to be able to keep up with how much we need as a group. So <clears throat> I'm not sure about that yet. Plus, I want to test the performance, but. I'm sure it's going to be great. And the other thing that I should have done in the beginning, I just do one of these jobs. You know, when I first grabbed this, it didn't work out so well. I'm taking cut this in quarters, and now get a nice solid coat. stance on the calipers. The other thing I noticed is that you know, when Dan was laying it on on the, on the video, they're putting it on a whole lot thicker than I was. So let that sit. Go grab the other one. And we'll do it. All right, so we've let the caliper sit for about 15 minutes. And then, you know, again, watching back Todd's videos, they use a lot more product than I did. So you can lay it on a little thicker to make sure you get a little better coverage, I think. But then the only, the only thing disadvantage of doing that is then you gotta make sure you remove it properly. And this stuff never really gets all tacky like some of the other companies. So we'll see if I get the same result from putting on more a thicker layer. All right, so we'll let that cure. You wanna come back and do the second set of wheels or the second coat on the set of wheels. So this was the left side, I think. Yeah. Now I don't think you wanna, you don't wanna buff it off. You just wanna remove the excess. You know, I wanna remove all the product that I just put on there. I do want to leave just an even layer behind with no residue or no excess. I guess you wouldn't call it residue, you just call it excess. All right, so both calipers are done. We'll come back and finish the wheels, and I am going to use this on the wheels the next time around. All right, so I, I put the second coat on the, on the stop tech calipers, just wiping that off. I also did the center caps, second coat on that. But man, this, this stuff is awesome. I'll, I'll draw my conclusions here in a little bit, but application of this is really easy. Just slop it on here and let it sit for 15 minutes and wipe it off. So, you know, I was super careful on the first coat and the second, I was quite a bit more, put more product on, you know, not, I didn't cake it on, but put it on without any kind of worry and it 
and right on with no issues. So that's our stance coat. Crap, I have a ton left. So I know this doesn't last forever, but we'll save it for maybe something else. All right, so let's wrap up our project here. I'm doing a overcoat, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm doing an overcoat sacrificial layer on the wheels and the calipers. You know, and this is very much like you know, the, the very popular CarPro Reload. Anyway, thanks for watching this one, uh, this old school, uh, old school Matt Mormon video, this old school Test Garage video. Uh, these are great products. Uh, I, I don't have them yet. Uh, right now, the best place to get them, the only place to get them is at, at Todd, uh, Todd and, uh, and Zach and Dan at Esoteric, great guys. Uh, and they ship, you know, they, they ship this stuff if they have it. They usually ship it same day or next day. It's really expensive, but it goes a long way. My guess is this little bottle, this little, uh, this little 100 ml bottle is a bottle of, of Kamikaze Overcoat will last a long time. I mean, I did four wheels and two calipers and I probably sprayed five sprays or 15 sprays maybe. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more of this, uh, this crazy stuff. What happens when the when the force pulls you back? Your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor. Foot to the floor. Foot to the floor.